what is going on everybody thank you guys once again for joining me on another video and before this video starts i do have a special announcement to make one of you guys will be winning this mystery box i have right here it's gonna be full of pretty cool stuff and the way for you to get a chance to win this mystery box is very simple all you have to do is click in the link below shop gr trucking shop for some gear any order you place throughout the month of may will get you a chance to win this mystery box right here Now with that being said, let's go ahead and start this video. There's a few trucks, not that many. It looks like there's about three, four trucks there. One of them is loaded, which means he's dropping off. The other one is empty. And right now, once I uh, stop, I'm gonna tell you guys what happened to me today in the morning. Today was not a great way to start a Friday, but we're here now. Um, I'll let you know right now what happened. As y'all can see on this video, I'm rocking that trailero with the Mexico flag and that button up trailero unit 75 shirt. It's a nice Peterbilt right there. Well, there's a truck without a trailer, so maybe they're dropping that truck off for the next auction. Dump truck. We 
got a clear built right here with a Hyundai 250. Step decks on flatbeds, pretty cool. Well, we got that RGM, baby. So easy in and out. Come out. I didn't even have time to tell you guys what happened, but I'll go ahead and do it right now. I was loaded with crushed concrete in the morning. I left the yard at 5:30 in the morning. Well, at six in the morning, like a few miles down the road, one of my airbags on the truck busted. So I had to drive all the way back to the yard loaded and I was heavy, I had like 25 tons. I was a little bit overweight. I had to drive back loaded, called the neighbor, I said, hey, can you help me change the airbag? Let's change it real quick. And we did. We changed it in like 45 minutes. And man, guys, that sucked. I'm glad it just happened close to the yard. But let me show you all This is the airbag we changed. And I didn't record or nothing. I just wanted to get it done because I have a lot of work. But that's what happened to me. That's what I was going to tell you that happened to me. There's an airport right behind Richard Brothers. That's why there's a lot of airplanes. <clears throat> Those are, we're going to Cleveland. I like coming to Reacher Brothers. Everything, for some reason, every time I come here, it just runs so smooth. I like it. Cool. Very organized, too. That's what I like. wondered how do I back up into the Lobo in the first try and not mess it up it's very easy before I pull out though I look at the, the watermelon light on my t-bar I hope you can see it right there and as you can see it is on the very edge of the trailer so all I have to do when I back up into it make sure that the watermelon lines up with the trailer and that's it it looks like we're gonna get a ride to pick up our dozer Thank you. 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 Thank you.
drink them all. You guys been busy today? Yeah, I'm already. That's good. You're gonna be on YouTube. <laughs> I just love how y'all are so organized here. The last, the last person I took for the final four last time was a jump truck too. We went all the way down the aisle to see his truck it's way over here. Wow. I was here Tuesday to pick up an excavator and they didn't start. They had a jump started. Oh yeah, that's what they're driving around for. <laughs> Oh, we passed it. It's right there. It's the first dozer right there. Oh, I thought it was a dump truck. No, no, it's a dozer. 172. I thought I'd seen it. <laughs> D62, 171. There it is. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Can I get a water? They're cold too, huh? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a great weekend. You want me to make sure it's hot? Yeah, let me check it out. Let's see if this starts, guys. It's a fairly new dozer. <laughs> We're good. Thank you. Oh, yeah. That was easy. Why is it so revved up? This is it guys. D6. And as y'all can see, it has this attachment in the front for land clearing. This thing is gonna be wide, really wide. I'm gonna have to be careful, especially where I'm going to. I'm gonna be driving through county roads and this thing sticks out a lot. The problem is with that attachment, I really can't tilt it because either way it's gonna stick out way too much. But we'll get it done. measuring tape let's see what we're looking at I've hauled these D6s before now with this attachment it's exactly 12 feet we should be good I think that's what my uh, my permit maxes out at 12 I think that's what it says so last time I was looking at it so we're good we're actually right on the money
got the dozer loaded guys set it exactly where i wanted as y'all can see i set the attachment right here so it can lay on this uh supports of the trailer and then the, the blade is sitting flat right here right behind the tire you gotta remember that i'm gonna air up so it is gonna be nowhere near the tires of the low boy so i'll be good i just gotta back up hook up chain down and get out of here The way I chain these dozers is very similar to the excavators. The only thing that changes is the tie down for the blade. And I'll show you guys that right now. There it is guys, very simple, two tie downs in the back. And whatever I do on this side is gonna be the exact same thing for the other side. All right, now to secure the blade, it's pretty easy. All I wanna do is have a chain pushing the blade down and something pushing the attachment down and back at the same time. I already put a chain on the other side. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do. I have a 10 foot chain right here. I'm gonna hook one of the ends on the D-ring, run it through the top, come down here, and put my binder in this hole just like I did on that side
be good right there guys now the blade is secured as y'all can see on both sides and believe me that ain't going nowhere now all i have to do is put my flags on on the blade and right here in the back i got my flags right here that piece there on the low boy i just got it fixed a few weeks ago because they had a uh, broken so i told my my welder hey man can you uh weld me a new piece of pipe here for the flags and he did so pretty cool of him came through fixed that for me now i'm gonna have flags there's one i'm gonna do one more on this side and there it is we're flagged up and i just gotta put two more right there by the blade and then we're out of here W900 right there. I see him earlier. I see him a lot here in Houston. Had a good talk with the guy of the W900. Somebody sent him a picture of a story I posted on Instagram right now from Mexico. And they said, hey, see your truck, man. You're on Instagram. <laughs> Pretty cool guy. I just met him. He's from Reynosa. Este chavo de los Leo 900 es de Reynosa. Para que saludarme. Now I'm ready to roll out. I got the flags on both sides of the blade. Gotta close the doors. Waiting in line so they can check the load, sign the paperwork, and we can take off. Yesterday, I went to a junkyard. I showed you guys on the previous video I did that I found a, a rim for the low boy. So I just need to find one more wheel, and that's it. I'm gonna have six aluminums. So hopefully when I get some time, maybe next week, Monday or Tuesday, I can go to tire shops around Houston and see if I can find the, the wheel I need for the low boy, and that way I can get them all polished at the same time. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Can't wait for that. The guy that, that bought the machine, he already called me. So I'm about to head out there. So all I gotta do is drive about 40 minutes north and we'll be good. Hop on 59, exit Splendora. All about 10 miles in and right there on the right side i think they're doing some bank clear job i've already taken another dozer to that place ran into some problems that uh that release form the guy sent me i printed it out
instead of work. Because if it wouldn't, the owner had to come here, give them the original paperwork, which means I would have had to wait here for about an hour or two hours and no, I don't want to do that. some of my gear shop gr trucking the link will be in the description below get y'all hats t-shirts some rags and also i got the grind don't stop safety vest take a look at this peterbilt rolling in with a d8 big dozer right there before i take off though i have to stop and take a picture for the thumbnail guys like i did on the last video so i stopped right here before i leave
like you guys saw i delivered that dozer and after that i came back running to the yard i hooked up the end dump as y'all can see i'm hooked up to the end dump right now i did a load of crushed concrete and also went to crossby to pick up a load of garden soil and that's it i'm done for the day i don't want to know nothing about trucking i want to go home have a cold beer and uh also that guy that was at Richie Brothers with the rollback, the W900, we exchanged numbers, pretty cool guy, he's from Reynosa, and let me show you, he sent me some pictures, because I gave him uh, two trailero decals, actually three I think, he put a trailero decal right here towards the bottom of the door of the driver's side, pretty cool, there's the W900, a nice truck real nice looking truck he showed me the the motor and everything has a detroit 12 7 15 speed transmission but that's pretty cool that will be it for this video guys i hope y'all enjoyed that machine i picked up from the auction now before the the video ends too i want to show y'all the new hats available these are the first hats with the trucker logo on them like you guys know, I started with Trailero and now I decided to do Trucker for my English speakers. So we got to represent, let the people know we're truckers. And what better way than having a Richardson snapback trucker cap with a custom trucker embroidered logo in the front. We got this Series 112 black with gray, beautiful hat and the same unit 75 cap i did for a limited time i decided to redo it with the trucker logo now which is charcoal with red but there you guys have it good luck to everybody that's ordering some gear in the month of may and let's see who takes the mystery box with that being said guys y'all have a great one stay safe